As a child, Bruce Wayne witnessed his parents die in the gutter, and in that moment swore to eradicate crime from Gotham City. Returning to the city as an adult, he now dons the mantle of Batman, a dark knight who terrorizes Gotham's underworld. Hi everyone, my name is Discourse, and welcome to my first faction overview for the Batman Miniatures game. Today, we're going to be talking about the Batman crew. Batman is of course the namesake of the game, and it is only fitting that he therefore kickstarts our new series. If you're interested in playing with one of the many Batman models in the game, then there are two ways to do so. You can either build a Batman crew using the traditional crew building rules with its own unique deck of objective cards, or instead build a Bat Family team with its own special rules. In today's video, I will be focused on the former. So, you're interested in building a Batman crew? Well, if you're a fan of Batman, then you're in luck. The Batman character has the widest selection of models in the game, representing his character across various times, places, and even media. But more than that, the Batman crew also has one of the widest selections of models that it can take when you're building the crew. There are two main branches of models that can be taken in the Batman crew. The first is the forces of the Gotham City Police Force. Though sometimes mirrored by corruption, Generally, these stalwart men and women of the GCPD struggle to enforce the law in a city racked by violence. A Batman crew built primarily from the GCPD will contain plenty of police officers armed with pistols, batons, and tasers, and will have easy access to the arrest special action, allowing them to permanently remove enemy models from the game after knocking them out. Alternatively, the Batman crew can focus on taking famous vigilante crime fighters and sidekicks like Batgirl, Robin and Nightwing, who are typically strong combatants in their own right. A Batman crew containing mostly crime fighters will tend towards fewer elite models with a great fighting capacity, lots of mobility, especially when it comes to vertical movement with easy access to the Batclaw special action, and the capacity to deal heaps of stun damage to your opponent, knocking out all but the strongest of models. Of course, you can always mix and match from these two pillars as desired. So in terms of theme, the Batman crew is a flexible one that focuses on gathering evidence, arresting felons, and taking down the colourful rogues gallery that control Gotham streets. In practice, this plays out in a game as disrupting your opponent's plans by removing their suspect markers, dodging gunfire, knocking out enemy models, and arresting the key units of the opponent's crew. So if that hasn't convinced you to already take up the cape and coil, then let's look at the strengths of the Batman crew. A selection of models for the Batman crew were included in the Back to Gotham starter box for the third edition of the Batman Miniatures game, and for a very good reason. This is a very intuitive gang that is easy to pick up and play. The crew objective cards are generally quite simple to score. Not only that, but the cards in their deck synergize with each other very well. This makes their deck easy to score with with some amazing cards like Snitch. They have easy access to the detective trait and can focus on revealing enemy suspect markers, ultimately disrupting their opponent's plans. They have access to some very powerful individual models and a wide selection of models to choose from. For example, there are a dozen Batman models, all with various strengths and weaknesses, and each one deserving of a spot in your list. Batman himself generally acts as a very strong distraction. This gives the smaller models in the crew the space to do their work. Finally, they have a very strong equipment list, including access to radios and plenty of bespoke special equipment that can only be taken when Bruce Wayne is included in the crew. But like with any crew, they also have some weaknesses. They deal a lot of stun damage, but they don't have great access to blood damage, generally speaking. As such, they lack a bit of killing power, though they compensate for this with the arrest trait, allowing them to remove knocked out models from the board. If you do decide to go with Batman as the boss of your crew, you'll find that you're incentivized to pull out of Inspire range with him very quickly, though you can mitigate the harm of this by taking models like Harvey Bullock and buying radios. And though their cards are easy to score, a lot of them are focused on either placing suspect markers in very specific locations on the board or revealing enemy suspect markers. So if your opponent doesn't care to put down suspect markers, some of your cards will be harder to score. You can only disrupt your opponent's plan if they have a plan in the first place. And their reliance on manipulate actions can make them vulnerable to crews like the Riddler. So overall, they're very powerful, they're very thematic, they're easy to pick up, and they're very competitive. And now we come to the stage of the video where I will rank the characteristics of the crew based on totally objective measurements. 
So the first criteria is the combat rating of the crew. This is how strong they are on the field and how well they can put the hurt on on their opponents. For the Batman crew, I rank that 4 out of 5 Batman. They have some very strong individual models, especially if you take vigilantes like Batman or Nightwing. But overall, the crew isn't focused on dealing damage. Next up, we have the manipulation rating, and this is dependent on how well the crew can play with suspect markers, how well they can remove them or place them down and protect them. I give the Batman crew 5 out of 5 perimeter tapes. A lot of cards in the Batman deck require you to play with suspect markers, either yours or your enemies, and the crew are given a lot of tools with which to do so. Next up we have ease of play, and for that I give this crew 5 out of 5 shock repellent sprays. The Batman crew is easy to play and easy to score with, and you can really go as big or as small as you want in terms of the size of your crew. And next up we have options which denotes how many models you can choose as well as how varied they are from one another. I give this 5 out of 5 utility belts for the Batman crew. You have a lot of options to choose from when buying models. There's more Batman models than you can shake a stick at. And the crew overall has the largest pool of models to choose from in the game. Now we come to the model slash deck synergy category. This denotes how well your models will help you score your objective deck. And for the Batman crew I give them 4 out of 5 donuts. There's lots of models models that can help score cards, but then some miniatures don't contribute much. And then finally for theme, which is to say how well does playing the crew reflect the fantasy that you would expect from the characters? I give this 3 out of 5 comic book codes. The crew deck really nails the fantasy of playing as the GCPD, but I do think there's a lack of cards in the deck that reflect the extended Bat family. The only card that springs to mind is They Won't See Me Coming, but otherwise the deck is more DCPD than Batman, so that things a few points off of theme, especially if you're not interested in playing as the Gotham City Police Department. Although it should be noted that there are Frank Miller, Dark Knight Returns specific objective cards that you can take into your deck if you have the relevant models. And now for this part of the video, I'm going to give you an idea as to how to build a Batman crew for the game. So this is a skirmish game, it's not an army level game, which means that you're not going to really need to buy big boxes of of models you won't really need to double down on any models almost every model in the game is unique and they all bring something different to the table so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna give you an idea as to where to start building your crew then I'm gonna highlight some specific models that might be of interest to you and finally I'm gonna show you some example lists just to give you an idea for what a Batman crew looks like when you've got a full crew all built and ready to go I'm just going to be touching on some of the models in this and highlighting them and giving you a basic idea as to why they might be good. But for more in-depth analysis, you might want to check out my first impressions videos or my unboxing videos where I review every model. So they might be of interest to you. Okay, so you're interested in starting a Batman crew and you don't know where to start. So the first thing I would say is check out the Batman Miniature Game Back to Gotham starter box. So if you're a completely new player, this is the place to start. And you're really spoiled here if you're a Batman player because this comes with the beginnings of a very strong and competent Batman crew. So this box will come with everything you need to start playing. You're going to have all of the tokens, measuring, dice. You're going to get the uh, templates and things like that. But more than that, you're going to get a few strong Batman models. So you're going to get Batman himself. This is a very strong version of Batman. It's very competitive. You also get Sergeant Harvey Bullock and GCPD Detective who are both some of the stronger Batman models in the game. They're just very good with scoring a lot of the cards in the Batman deck. So this will give you a very strong collection from which to start your Batman crew. Now this also, as an addition, comes with a bunch of unaffiliated thugs, Harley Quinn and a Deadshot as well. So if you're interested in any other crews, they are pretty good to have as well. Now this also comes with the Batman crew objective deck. So every crew in the game have a set of objective cards that they try to score in order to win the game. This box set does come with those Batman cards that are specific to the Batman crew. This is the only place that you can buy those. So if you're not interested in the models from this box set or you don't need the tokens, then you're going to need to find a way to pick those up on the secondary market. Or alternatively, you can download those from the Night Models website print them off and then play with those. But I would definitely recommend this box set if you have even a cursory interest in some of these models. Now this box set won't give you 350 reputation so it won't get you a standard crew size but it will get you most of the way there. Now after picking up that box you have a couple of ways that you can go. So the starter box is pretty GCPD heavy and you could lean into that by picking up the Commissioner Gordon model on the big base. So he's a very strong support 
for your crew. He brings a lot of special actions and he can let your cops make free arrest actions. And he can even call in a police helicopter with which to support your crew. So he brings a lot of utility to the table. And if you pick him up, then you'll have a full 350 reputation crew ready to go. And that'll be everything you need then to play. Alternatively, if you're more interested in playing with Batman and his sidekicks, you might want to think about picking up Red Hood. He's a very strong combatant. Probably one of the stronger combatants in the game. And he comes with a katana and a crowbar, so you know he means business. Now, the most up-to-date version of Red Hood is the Gravestone version, and that's the stronger version of him, in my opinion. And so I would recommend him. Alternatively, you could bring the Jason Todd version of Robin. He's also a very aggressive model. He's got an impetuous special rule that rewards him for attacking the closest model. He's just a very aggressive pick and can bring a lot to the table in terms of fists. And it would be remiss of me not to mention Dick Grayson's Nightwing. Nightwing has a combo special rule that allows him to get a lot of attacks off with his battens. So he can deal a lot of damage. Or you could bring Batgirl and she's also a very good fighter. Though maybe not as strong as Nightwing or Robin. But she's very efficiently costed which makes her a lot of fun. And she's just as mobile as Nightwing and Robin. Really all of the sidekicks are very very mobile. Because they all come with bat claws. Which allows them to ascend up and down buildings and get across the map very quickly. Now both Batgirl and Nightwing come in the second edition style of resin which is a little bit more brittle and fiddly than the third edition version of the resin so they're more prone to breakages if you're not careful but if that doesn't bother you I definitely recommend both these models. You might also want to think about bringing Catwoman. She's a very agile model and she can play around with the suspect markers very well and she can move them. She transforms them into cat tokens when she places one down and she can move them around so she's a lot of fun. She's got a lot of special rules and she really plays well into the Batman playstyle and she's also invincible if you play her well. Now she has the unknown affiliation which means that if you have any interest in branching off from Batman in the future you could bring Catwoman along for the ride so she could be taking a lot of different crews and she even comes with her own three point objective card so definitely not a model to sleep on and you can see the cat tokens there very cute. Now there is a second edition Dark Knight Rises starter box if you find that on the secondary market or on some retailers. Night models themselves no longer sell it directly but it's something to look at certainly. Christian Bale version of Batman is very strong. He comes with the arrest keyword and this is really good utility. But the cops in the box and the uh, Catwoman there aren't that exciting. So unless you're a really big fan of the Nolan verse or if you are a big fan of Tom Hardy Bane or you want to play Soldiers of Fortune in the future because the being in this box as well as some of the Soldiers of Fortune models are very good. I wouldn't prioritize picking this up for the Batman models. Although if you get a good discount on it, there's a lot of models in here. So it might be might be worthwhile. Finally, I want to give a shout out to the Batman and Robin classic TV series models. This is obviously Adam West and Burt Ward. You might sleep on these a little bit because they look so silly, but they're actually pretty good. Now, they're not going to be as strong as some of the other Batman models that you can pick up, but they're well costed for what they do bring and they also surprisingly pack quite a bit of punch. Both Batman and Robin in this box are pretty good so someone to think about. Now they're pretty silly characters obviously but they're a lot cheaper than the other Batman models and Adam West Batman works really well with Burt Ward. They synergize very strongly and you get both of them in the box and also Cesar Romero Joker was recently released so you can have a classic Adam West versus Cesar Romero if that is something you're interested in. And now I'm going to run you through some example lists. I've got two lists here for you just to give you an idea for what a crew looks like and run you through how I've built them and why I've built them the way I have. For this, I'm going to be using the BMG app. This is BMG information. It is a fan made website where you can build crews and you can check up with the rules and the compendium, see the equipment lists and things like that. So it's a really, really strong resource. Really recommend it. There is a link in the description of this video where you can check that out. Night models also have an official app for mobile phones that you can check out. You can also build crews on that. But as of right now, it's currently in an open beta. So I'd recommend the BMG app for the time being. And here is our first list. This is the Back to Gotham starter crew alongside the Commissioner Gordon model that I highlighted earlier. You can see here we have brought the Batman for 146 reputation. This is a very strong version of Batman and you can see that he comes with a lot of traits. And one of the reasons why I love this website so much is that you can click the traits and you can see everything you need to know about those. You can even check out the weapons and see the weapon trait details there as well. So it's just perfect. Now we've also brought the Commissioner Gordon model too. So he's 70 reputation. 
and he comes with air support and arrest so a lot of support for your models we have bought some equipment for him we've bought the heliport equipment and basically what this does is it allows you whenever you use your air support special trait that gordon has the helicopter that you summon into the map will be able to shoot at people as well as simply shine a light on them so it gives a little bit of long range damage and allows us to apply some pressure on our opponent i've also taken harvey bullock of course he's 41 reputation so he's very well costed for what he brings you can see here he has a lot of really good traits including hidden that allows him to deploy anywhere he wants on the board and evidence tampering that lets him put down a friendly suspect marker when he removes an enemy suspect marker so he can present some really big swings he's a very good model very strong he's really very much the linchpin of this crew so in order to support him we have picked up street patrol for him out of the equipment list this basically gives him some protection from ranged attacks we've also given him radio which means that he is always within inspire range no matter where he is on the board obviously because he's got hidden and can deploy anywhere he wants it means that he might be out of inspire range and because batman is going to be the boss of this crew batman will inspire anyone around him but batman himself is probably going to be busy up on rooftops you know punching thugs in the face and leaping down on the joker and things like that so he's not always going to be around harvey bullock which means that harvey won't always get inspired by him with the radio this means that he will so it's going to be really useful and we have also picked up the gcpd detective in a lot of ways this character is basically harvey bullock but the light version of him he's only 26 reputation so he's quite a bit cheaper but he also doesn't come with as many good traits as harvey bullock but play him very similarly to harvey bullock he basically does the same thing he comes with hidden and he's also a detective now to help him out we've brought a radio for him as well for the exact same reasons that we've given them the harvey bullock but we've also given him a grapple gun which will allow him to get around the map very quickly it will let him get to suspect markers that are in hard to reach places to remove them and as well as that put down things like suspect markers and snitch markers in areas where the opponent won't be able to prevent them so that's pretty good it'll give him quite a bit more mobility and then we've also taken gcpd cop 2 for 23 reputation she is a pretty cheap model she comes with a taser she can arrest enemies she's basically just some warm body on the board just here to gum up the opponent get in the way and present a bit of an obstacle and as well as that just support some of the other models in a fight and we've also brought Officer Merkel, who has been given a helmet, which will give him the hardened trait, just giving him a bit more survivability. He costs 28 reputation and $100, and he's got a shotgun that deals stun damage. He's got, it's basically like a riot gun, so that's very good. He also has the bodyguard trait, which will allow him to take hits on behalf of Batman if he's nearby, so you can be pretty aggressive with this guy. And then finally, we have GCPD Cop 1. He's literally 16 reputation, so very, very, very cheap. He's basically just another body on the board, just like DCPD Cop 2, and he brings a, a lantern which will allow him to light up the enemy, but he won't be doing much on his own. So for this crew, this crew basically plays very well with the Batman objective deck. You won't need to mix out any cards at all. You don't need to filter in any, any generic cards. This crew will work perfectly with the Batman objective cards. So this is a very easy crew to play. In a lot of ways, I view this as the quintessential Batman crew. So yeah, just go out there, remove enemy suspect markers, throw down some of your own and beat up the joker as batman and you know you should have a lot of fun with this list now if you would prefer to play something more akin to the bat family i have this list built as well and this might be a little bit of a harder list to play but it's going to bring batman from the dark knight rises box set this is christian beale so you can see he's a little bit cheaper than the other version of batman from the starter box back to gotham this version of Batman is only 120 reputation. So he doesn't have as many special abilities or keywords, but what he brings is arrest, which will allow him to arrest enemy models. That'll be really important for scoring some of your cards. We've also brought Nightwing, who's 90 reputation, but he's got quite a few traits. He's got Acrobat, which will allow him to dodge gunfire and also give him a little bit more speed. He's bringing his back claw so he can move up and down buildings, no problem. He's got Combat Flip, which will give him an ability to just move that little bit further. And he's also brought Combo Sticks. Those are his weapons they will allow him to basically keep hitting for more depend on how many successes you get in your attack roll so nightwing here will be able to basically put the hurt on anybody on the board and probably come out looking pretty good now we've also brought batgirl too so as I said previously, Batgirl is a really efficient model. She's only coming at 65 reputation, but she's got really good attack and really good defense. She also has a Batclaw. She's got combo unarmed as well. So very similar to Nightwing, she can 
get more damage depending on how many attacks she gets in. She brings in Former, which gives you an extra pass marker, which is very good. And we've bought some equipment for her. So we've bought the martial arts training for Batgirl. This basically means that if she gets ganged up on, it won't hurt her defense. We've also given her circus training. We can do that because we've brought Nightwing. And this will give her acrobatic, which will also allow her to dodge gunfire just like Nightwing. And then finally, we've given her Watchtower, which gives her the exhaustive planner trait, which will allow you to cancel one of your opponent's resource cards once during the game. That's really, really strong. Now, we've brought a couple of henchmen as well. We've brought the GCPD detective and we've brought Harvey Bullock and both of them have been given radios. Radios are really important for this because they're never going to be around Batman, basically, so long as you can help it. And they're going to be really important because they're actually going to be scoring most of your cards. And what you're going to do is you're going to use Batgirl, Nightwing and Batman to play interference for the GCPD detective and Harvey Bullock. They're going to basically fly around the map, beating up anybody who gets close to Harvey Bullock or GCPD detective. And then you'll also be scoring a couple of cards now for this sort of crew you're going to want to switch out some of the batman specific objective cards out for some of the generic cards you're going to want to pick some of the cards that reward you for beating up enemy models or dealing damage so this is a very mobile offensive crew and that's how you should play it genuinely these models will be able to beat up most people in the game now, both of these lists have featured in battle reports on the channel, so do check those out if you have any interest. And I've also included links to both of these lists in the description below. So thanks for joining me today. If you are interested in the Batman Miniatures game, why not check out our beginner-friendly battle reports? You'll find those up here. Alternatively, we also run a How to Play series where we take you through the rules of the Batman Miniatures game. You'll find those down below there. They're quick and concise videos. And finally, if you are a more intermediate player and you have a little bit of knowledge about the rules, why not check out our top three objective card series, starting with the Batman video just down below. Whatever you choose, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.